Good afternoon once again, dear students. So welcome to our virtual class. So this is for the course BAM 6102, Marketing Management. So I would like to introduce again myself for those who have not attended the orientation last week. So especially Monday last week is holiday. So wala tayong meeting last time. So I would like to introduce myself. So I am Professor Maria Romana Endagio, uh, the Dean of AB Fairview, and I am your Assigned Online Learning Coordinator for this course. No? So BAM 6102, 6102, yes, Marketing Management. So kanina magka-chat kami ni, is it Archie? Yeah, si Archie. So yeah, I am a former uh, employee of Security Savings Bank. Um, actually, kasi um, uh, savings bank siya. No, ang security bank kasi is commercial. So though nowadays naman both banks no have uh, corporate accounts no uh, retail accounts. Pero as to yung focus talaga no uh, commercial ang security bank. Okay, so thank you for that, Archie. So, yes, our topic for this week is the first topic that we have in our LMS, creating customer value. Creating and on the part of the consumer class, it's um, capturing. So on the part of the business, it's creating and on the part of the consumer, it's capturing. So basically, it's about creating and capturing customer value. All right. So we have waited enough for others to join. So at this point of time, maybe we could start. All right. So we have here an opening case. So this is the case of uh, Amazon. Okay. So Amazon.com's deep down passion for creating customer engagement value and relationships have has made it rather uh, the world's leading online retailer so um, uh, as you know no amazon is very successful in terms of uh, online retailing okay so because of its passion towards um Excuse me, uh, customer engagement, no, creating value and relationship towards its uh, customers. Uh, no doubt that uh, Amazon is very successful and uh, named to be the leading online retailer. So Amazon has become the model for companies that are obsessively and successfully focused on delivering customer value. So other companies look up uh, Amazon, no, their uh, their experiences, no, the the culture of the company, no, towards the achievement of uh, where they are right now. So according to Jeff Bezos, we see our customers as invited guests to a party. And we are the host. It's our job, job every day to make every important aspect of the customer experience a little better. So they see to it that every day, no, they they try to make the experience, no, of these customers uh, a little better as compared to their previous experiences. So no doubt, no, they are named no or tagged as the leading online retailer so that's for our opening case okay so for our lesson class we have here our learning objectives so objective one define marketing and outline the steps in the marketing process the number two Explain the importance of understanding the marketplace and customers and identify the five core marketplace concepts. Third, identify the key elements of a customer-driven marketing strategy and 
discuss the marketing management orientations that guide marketing strategy. So, when you say customer-driven marketing strategy class, the focus, the center of all these marketing efforts, promotional efforts are our customers. Okay? So, we know that it is really important for the, the company to achieve its goal, but primarily, it should focus. No, All the efforts must be focused on what we can offer, what we can provide no? to our customers. Because later on, no, we can as well no? uh, achieve our company goals and objectives. So remember, class, that customers are the uh, are considered to be the lifeblood of any business. Without them, no business is nothing. No, you can't uh, you can't perform no without the customers. So for number four objective, discuss customer relationship management or CRM, and identify strategies for creating value for customers. And capturing value from customers in return. And number five, describe the major trends and forces that are changing the marketing landscape in this age of relationships. So every now and then, there are trends, there are updates, developments in terms of marketing, how you how you manage to market your product and services to the consumer. So it is really also important for the company to to adjust, to cope you know, with that uh, new um, trends, you no know, uh, environments, you no know, etc. Uh, as an example class no uh, with this uh, pandemic it really taught the businesses a lot in terms of adjustments no i can't help but to adjust or else you will be left behind no worst uh, pwedeng magsara pwedeng bankrupt no uh, kung hindi ka mag uh, mag adjust and mag adapt sa situation so dito na test no we we view this as a challenge no uh, if it is uh, in a positive perspective we view that as a challenge but for others na medyo negative ang perspective sa buhay they they call that problem no problems na nakakabigat okay so it's it uh, isn't it nice class no to to overcome challenges no that would be an achievement for for any business or even in an individual employee no pag meron kang nagawa no na, na overcome mo yung challenges so going back to our learning objective one which is to define the marketing no what is marketing and outline the steps in marketing process so we have here the definition of marketing. Marketing is said to be a process by which companies create value for customers and build strong customer relationships in order to capture value from customers in return. So you see, class, uh, marketing is different from that of selling because in marketing no though they are both a process no in marketing our focus here is to create value no not just to create but also to capture once the customer appreciate what we do no what we are doing no in return no we can uh, feel we can see experience no uh, that value as well no uh, in what way uh, by by the the purchase of the customers by loyalty to our uh, brand product no or service and above all loyalty to the company okay so in the definition of marketing class we have mentioned two things creating value for or para sa customers and capturing value from customers so it's a two-way relationship class no uh you offer what you think is uh, uh good and uh, what you think uh, the customers need or want and in return no the customers will then appreciate that and try to 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 get loyal or try to to patronize as well your product so it's a two-way relationship class 
So in business, no, it is uh, much more uh, okay, no, if I may say, to really uh, know first, no, what the customers need and want, no, before creating something to offer, rather than uh, you create something uh, at the beginning and then try to persuade or influence consumers to to like it to buy it no so mas mahirap mas malaking uh, marketing efforts ang magagawa natin but knowing first what the customers need and want then yung yung effort natin na mapabilis sila mahikayat silang bumili ay mas lesser na because uh, in the very place, uh, first place class na nalaman na natin ahead of time na yun ang gusto nila okay so that's the uh, meaning and definition of marketing. For learning objective number two, that's uh, explaining the importance and uh, understanding the marketplace and customers and also uh, identifying the five core uh, marketplace concepts. So under this, no, we need to understand the marketplace and the customer needs. So, uh, when we talk of market offerings, what do we offer class to the market? No? So it could either be uh, products, services, or experiences, or combinations of these three. So, when you say products, these are tangible objects, no? Uh, services naman, no? We can't... Uh, touch this but we can experience uh, in this particular instance we we refer experiences here as those that we can uh, we can feel once na na na, na purchase natin or na, na napuntahan natin ang isang ang isang say establishment for example um, in having a coffee in a in a nice coffee shop for example Starbucks no you don't just pay for the coffee or you don't you don't just pay for the the cake or whatsoever no you pay for the experience because the the cozy setup no the ambience no you are paying for that though uh hindi mo talaga binayaran oh uh, i'll pay for the experience no no it follows no na pagka nagstay ka doon no somehow you are also paying for the experience what else uh yung mga classy restaurants no you don't just pay for the food no you pay for the service of the the attendants no food attendants you pay for the the ambience no and so on and so forth so you, so you know um hindi lang products and services ang binabayaran natin but also the experience okay so like for example in in school no hindi ka lang natututo no but uh experience as a whole no how you how you uh, interact with your teacher your classmates no the administrators of the school etc no uh we call that experience no so if you look back after after your 3 years 4 years or 5 years in college if you look back then uh it made you smile then worth it ang experience okay Market offerings. So, these are some combination of products, services, information, or experiences offered to a market to satisfy a need or a want. So, uh, a need and a want class uh, may be of different uh, things, no? Uh, depende sa tao, okay? A need for me may be a want for other, no? Other people. Uh, a want... Uh, a want for me is ano, uh, mali, mali. a need for me may be your want or my want will be your uh, maybe your need no so it all depends on the the uh, the purpose that uh, the thing is serving you now for example um yeah we we agree that food is uh, is a necessity no but if you have uh, preferences no towards a food then that would be considered as a want. For example, rice. A plain rice is a need, di ba? Kasi yun ang staple food natin, rice. But if you want something no, uh, for a rice, uh, for example, you want a java rice, a garlic rice, fried rice with a lot of 
uh, ingredients on it, no? then that would be a want. Because remember class that a need are or needs are the things that we can't live without. No? Without that, I think hindi tayo mabubuhay. Pero when you say want, these are the things that even in their absence, wala man ito, mabubuhay pa rin tayo. Pero their presence, of course, would give us um, happiness, additional happiness, comfort, convenience, etc. Like for example, um, if you are going to choose plain rice over a Java rice or a, a Chinese fried rice, no? Of course, gusto mo na yung Chinese fried rice kasi maraming sahog yun. Pero, kaya mo bang mabuhay kahit na plain rice lang? Yes! Okay? So, doon siguro nag, nagdodraw yung, yung, yung differentiation between need and a want. No? According to the purpose that uh, that particular thing is serving you. Okay? So, you can't really say that this is a need, this is a want. No? Depende sa... Tao. Maybe a an Apple uh, phone for me is a need. Depende sa kung ano yung preferences ko na features, no? Or sa iba naman, no? Na na gusto lang ay prestige, no? Na dahil iPhone, etc. That would be a one. So again, it depends. Okay. So marketing myopia is focusing only on existing wants and losing sight of underlying consumer needs, okay? So, some companies are focusing on what uh, consumers uh, want, no? Uh, there's uh, nothing wrong with that class, no? It's really up to the, the company to choose, really, no? What to serve the needs or the wants. The moment you decide, no, you want to you want to satisfy or you want to provide the needs, no, of the consumers and then go for it for as long as... Uh, at the end of the day, you know that you are serving your best no, to the consumers. Exchanges and relationships. So exchange is the act of obtaining a desired object from someone by offering something in return. So exchange palitan. No? Uh, you have something to offer. And pag inaccept yon, babayaran. So we call that an exchange process. So business mag-offer ng product, bibilhin ni consumer, mapapasakan niya. No, the ownership now of the product will be uh, transferred no to the consumers. In return, magbabayad siya for that. We call that exchange. Marketing actions try to create. Not just to create, but also to maintain and grow desirable exchange relationships. So, it is really important in marketing class not just to create um, relationship. Above all, you need to maintain that. No? And also, let that relationship grow. No? Yung i-develop mo pa. Okay? So, ano bang mga criteria na para masabi mo na develop na talaga yung relationship ninyong dalawa ng consumers nyo? Of course, no? Uh, makikita mo yun sa performance ng business. Kung doing well, no? Another is kung, kung nakikita mo na na yung loyalty no ng customers no kahit na maraming substitute na products na pwede naman talaga silang they can easily switch brands no but still they choose to to patronize your brand your product etc then uh, only then rather no you can say that uh, there is an established uh, relationship no between you the company and the consumers okay so, what are the five core marketplace concepts? So, again, that is customer needs, wants, and demands. So, earlier, we have defined what is a need and a want. When you say demand naman class, no, uh, ito yung pagkagusto mo sa isang bagay back up with the buying capacity. Okay? You can't demand for something na hindi mo kayang bilhin. Okay, so yun din ang ang tinitake advantage class ng mga marketers no ng mga business no hindi lang yung needs hindi lang yung wants but also the demands. Okay, market offerings. So it's either again products, services and or experiences. The customer value and satisfaction. So it is really important no at the first 
uh, transaction time of purchase, no? customers are then satisfied. Okay? Because, pag hindi, if not, no, we can't expect them to buy again or visit our stores again. Okay? Or worse, they will, um, they will let their friends, families know about their bad experience no? doon sa business mo. So, ingatan natin yun. Next, exchanges and relationships. So, we have uh, discussed that a while ago. As to markets, glass. Market could mean either a place or a person. So, if you refer market to a place, it is where you gonna offer your product or services. But when you refer to market as a person, it is whom, no? Uh, to whom you prefer to offer, intend to offer your product or service. Or on the other hand, also aside from being, uh, aside from referring it to a person or to a place, we could also refer market to an opportunity. For example, uh, today, uh, these are your, these are your target uh, market. Isila lang. Pero in the near future, no, we could also refer market as opportunity. Ano na sino or sino pa? No, in the near future, ang pwede nating uh, maging, maging customer. Ano pa yung pwede nating masakop? At ano pa yung pwedeng uh, maging, um, what you call this, maging buhay ng business natin someday. So, we could also refer market as to opportunities. So, again, market could mean people, place, or opportunity. So, remember that class. Okay, for learning objective number three, identify the key elements of a customer-driven marketing strategy and discuss the marketing management orientations that guide marketing strategy. So under that, designing a customer-driven marketing strategy and preparing an integrated marketing plan and program. So if, re if you really intend to come up with an intense marketing it is advisable really to come up with a marketing plan no? that will guide you on how to execute your uh, plans class, no? step by step. No? Uh, may sinusunod tayo na procedures. So, hindi lang basta uh, gagawa ng isang bagay. No? Because in marketing plan class, marami din mga aspects yan. No? Uh, may management aspect, may marketing aspect, may operational aspect, financial, etc. Okay, selecting customers to serve. Okay, sino ba ang pipiliin natin? No? Marketing management is the art and science of choosing target markets and building profitable relationships with them. So as you notice, class, it is both an art and science, no? yung marketing management. Why? Maybe, no? art because... We do apply our personal uh, touch, no, personal techniques, no, on how to uh, achieve our our goals, no. Hindi lang bilang isang employee, no, but for the the achievement of the the corporate uh, objectives and goals, no. You can you can apply uh, personalized uh, strategies, etc. So that's why it's called art. But when you speak of science class, you know that in science, uh, there is a specific uh, steps. There are specific uh, steps rather that you need to follow. Now, you can't go to step two without, uh, ba? remember your scientific um, procedure. Diba? You have to identify first your problem, no? blah, blah, blah. So you can proceed with step two without going through the first step. Okay, so that's why marketing management is both an art and a science. Science and art of what? Choosing target markets. Markets is, market class uh, refers here as the customers, no? Maraming klase ng customers. It's for us to decide, no? Sino sa kanila ang tatargetin natin. Okay? So para bang ano class? Nasa farm ka, giisip ka ng... Nag-iisip ka na may ulam mo ngayong gabi. So, hapon naman na, no? Nag-iisip ka, kunwari, nasa farm ka. You can see a lot of things. May veggies, may mga livestock, no? Pwede kang magmanok, pwede kang 
uh, may poultry din, may baboy, no? At matindi, meron pang baka, tsaka ano pa, kambing or whatsoever. So if you are going to choose, no? Parang maraming pinepresent sa harapan mo, pero mamimili ka, no? Sino ba target mo diyan? Unang-una, you have to consider if you're going to to have the 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 pig, no? Kung gusto mo yung baboy, mauubos mo ba? Ikaw lang ba mag-isa diyan? Marami ba kayo? Kaya mo bang kaya mo bang itumba yung baboy? Kung chicken 'yan, no? Mga ganong consideration. So that's why just like in marketing, you really need to follow certain procedures on that, no? Sino ang ta-targetin mo? So kung doon sa farm balik tayo, gusto mo madaling maluto. Gusto mo uh, para lang sa iyo. Okay? So, end up it's either isang isang manok lang or doon ka na sa veggies kasi madali siyang lutuin. So something like that. Plus, ano yung kaya mong i-provide, kaya mong i-offer. Ganun 'yon sa marketing. Hindi yung masyado kang ilusyonada, gusto mo eto ang market ko, no? Sasakupin ko tong blah 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 na to. Eh hindi mo naman kaya. Demand nila, hindi mo kaya i-supply, 'di ba? So para saan pa ikaw din sa huli ang uh, mahihirapan. So what customers will we serve? Namili tayo, parang yung sa ulam. Ano ulamin ko? Okay? Can we best serve these customers? So kung nasa harapan na natin yung mga klase ng customers, eto bang mga ito eh kaya kong pag pag uh, tawag dito, serbisyohan, kaya ko bang i-serve ng ng maganda, ng maayos? So kung ang sagot niyo doon ay yes, then go for it pero kung medyo doubtful ka na kaya mo kaya mo bang ibigay yung yung hinihiling nila no yung needs and wants nila and even the and even the demands no so you have to really uh, think first no bago ka suma, uh, sumuong no bago ka mag-venture into uh, serving them okay so in selecting customers to serve class no Uh, we have the so-called market segmentation. So it refers to dividing the markets into segments of customers. So another term class for segments are groups. We are grouping our uh, customers. So as you know, in market segmentation, we can group them, segment them according to uh, demographic profile, no? uh, geographic profile, pag demographic, Uh, in terms of say age, no, um, sex, pag geographic yung location na Manila, na sa Manila bayan, na sa province bayan, etc. Behavioral meron den and meron den psychographic, no, so dini divide natin depende sa group nila. So after dividing the market, no, it is now for us to decide sino yung target market natin. So target marketing class refers to which segments to go after. Sino ang ipuporso natin sa mga markets na to? So, pag sinabi mo, ah, those aging from from 15 to 20. So, beforehand, alam mo na bakit sila. Okay? Kasi, uh, nalaman mo na ito yung kadalasan na, na kinukonsumo ng mga edad ganyan, o kaya madalas nilang ginagamit, ganito, mas preferred ng mga bata, yung ganyan, no? et cetera, et cetera. So, before you you come up with your target market, beforehand, alam mo na na sila talaga yung bagay no? doon sa products na ino-offer mo. Okay? So, next is choosing a value proposition. So, a brand's value proposition is the set of benefits or values it promises to deliver to customers to satisfy their needs. So this is what sets you apart, no, from your competitors. Ano yung uh, maipapramis mo, maipapangako mo na maibibigay sa kanila na wala or hindi ma-deliver or mas higit pa sa kayang ibigay na mga kakompetensya mo. So it is nice to promise, yes. Nakakatuwa pag may nagpa-promise sa iyo, no? Pero nauso nga yung kasabihan Uh, wag ka na umasa, masasaktan ka lang. So, sana sa mga mga products and services na kinukonsumo natin, hindi natin ma, ma ihugot itong hugot na to class, no? Because what you promised must also be delivered. Okay? Again, kung ano yung pinangako mo, 
kailangan ma-deliver mo siya. Okay? Pag sinabi mong in seven days, puputi ang balat mo, no? No excuses. In seven days, kailangan pumuti ang balat ng gagamit niyan. Hindi yung pag inapproach ka, you said, after seven days, no? Puputi na ako. Eh, bakit hindi, bak- bakit wala nangyari? So, no excuses. Eh, kasi po, ano, dapat, ganito po yun eh. So, false advertisement ang nangyari. False promotion. So, uh, customers will not be satisfied on false hopes no? na binibigay ng mga company. Alright? So, value proposition again, no? the benefit sets a uh, set of benefits or values that you promise and you deliver to your customers. Okay, so marketing management orientation, so production concept, wherein customers will favor products that are available and highly affordable. So, uh, have you noticed sometimes, kahit sa mga sarili natin, no, we are not that uh, brand conscious class. Kung ano na lang yung available, halimbawa, um, pumunta ka sa t- tindahan, no, sari-sari store, you want to drink soda, kaya lang walang Coke. Okay? Ang available is um, Sprite Royal. Okay? So, pag sinabi mong production concept and consumers no, uh, will favor products that are available. So, kung ano na lang, yun nandun. For as long as it is soda, for as long as it is, uh, for as long as it is cold, no? uh, ice cold yan na mapapawi yung uhaw, then why not? Okay? Or, Highly affordable, meaning kaya ng budget nila. Okay? So, marami sa atin ganun, lalo na kung, kung budget constraint plus, ibig sabihin, limitado ang budget natin. We don't go after the brand. We go after with the benefits no, or the features na pwede natin makuha regardless of the brand. And also, kung saan tayo makakatipid. Parang sa palaman, uh, Kung medyo may kaya ka, butter. Kung medyo wala, margarine. Pwede na. Okay? Nasaserve pa rin naman ang purpose. Palaman pa rin naman yun. ba? So, kung, kung medyo able ka, uh, Nutella. Kung wala, medyo maggoya na lang muna tayo. ba? Kasi wala tayong budget. So, affordability. Still, same pa din naman. Chocolate spread pa din naman. Okay? Consumers favor products that offer the most quality, performance, and features. Regardless, again, of the brand, for as long as it is quality, no, nagpe-perform na maganda, magandang features, then that would be completely fine. The focus is on continuous product improvements. Okay, so we continue to strive for a better product, no, better services, no, for the satisfaction of our uh, consumers. Selling concept, consumers will not buy enough of the firm's product unless the firm undertakes a large-scale selling and promotion effort. So, you see, hindi naman talaga basta-basta mabibili ang isang product, not unless meron kang gagawing marketing effort, promotion, selling effort. No? Mag-iingay ka, uh, publicity, no? parang sa supermarket, meron kang iahar na merchandiser, no, magde-demo, magsasalita regarding the features and benefits of the product. So mag mag uh, ano ng attention yung class, mag tawag dito magka-capture ng attention ng customers. Lalo na kung yung yung nagde-demo ay magaling magsalita, no? Uh, again, it's nice to have uh, a salesman na magaling mag-communicate, etc. But then again, balik tayo dun sa sinabi ko kanina. Kailangan kung ano yung pinramis mo na yung offer totoo. No? Talaga madi-deliver niya yung pinramis mo na yun. Okay? Bawa. Ah, uh, ito lang ang ilagay mo sa sa yung mga mamis diyan, ano? Uh, problema yung maitim na kaldero. O ito lang, isang gamit lang puputi na kagat, so ikaw naman, no? Uh, ang goal mo mapaputi mo yung yung likod ng kaldero mo, so ikaw bumili sampu pa binili mo, no? Kasi ano eh, gusto mo maputing maputi. So, after using it, wala nangyari. So, what do you think that customer will feel? No? Eh di, babalikan niya yung nagbenta and siguro, uh, bukod sa madi-disappoint, eh, pwede pa niya yun sabihin sa iba na 
wag maniwala or wag bumili kasi scam no uso na ngayon salitang scam yan scam yan no uh, kasi hindi totoo ang mga binibitawan ng mga promises hindi lang hindi lang sa magjowa nangyayari yung class even even more sa mga products and services alam niyo yan order kayo sa picture ang laki-laki no talagang ang sarap lalo sa mga online selling no may mga nag online ng mga bags no etc pagdating sa iyo scam madami madami pa lang flaws madaming sira no hindi nila agad sinasabi what they are after for is magkaroon ng benta so you see pag hindi na na satisfy yan hindi na uli manonood yan hindi na uli bibili okay so marketing concept Know the needs and wants of the target markets and deliver the desired satisfactions better than your competitors. So, na-mention ko na yan kanina. Life without competitors class, boring pa din naman. ba? Diba? So, kailangan natin ng competitors para ma-challenge ma tayo to do better, to become better versions of our our, our business yesterday, no? Uh, maging okay tayo today and tomorrow. ba? Diba? Kaya, Uh, nandiyan ang competitors no to to remind us no every now and then that we need to strive hard to satisfy our customers and at the end of the day hindi lang naman din tayo ang kailangan mabuhay sila din nagnenegosyo for as long as ethical ang pinapractice nyo hindi nyo sinisiraan ng isa't isa then uh, i think okay lang na magkaroon ng competitors all right Societal marketing, from the word society. So the company's marketing decisions should consider consumers' wants, the company's requirements, consumers' long-run interest, and society's long-run interest. So you see, hindi lang sa part ni company no? yung, yung focus, no? but also focus on consumers, focus on um, the society as well. No? So, just like uh, here at AMAES, we don't just want you to become a uh, professional someday, no? achieving your personal goals in life, but also we are trying to mold you class into a better person wherein you can also give back to your society, to our society, to our country no? uh, by way of um, contributing your knowledge, your skills to the society, Uh, eventually, maging entrepreneur kayo, creation of jobs, no, uh, offering or providing goods and services to the public. That would be a great contribution to the society. Okay, so for this class, I will park this uh, topic, marketing mix and the marketing plan and program. I will continue this next meeting. Okay, so for now, uh, we still have few more.